Hey, it's Rob. Welcome to The Everyday Investor, the hottest real estate investment show in the world. That's right, I said it. I don't care who knows it. We've got a fantastic show lined up. We've got my good friend Anil Wally on the show. We're going to be talking about how to make money investing in the United States of America. How to make money investing in the U.S. You don't want to miss this show. Remember, whenever we talk about anything investments, you want to ask the four questions to start. Number one, what is the ROI, the return on investment? Number two, when do I get that return on investment along with the money that I put in? Number three, what's the minimum investment amount needed? And number four, what is the risk, the worst case scenario? Grab your paper, grab your pen. You don't want to miss a show. We'll be right back. Thanks for watching. The Everyday Investor has been brought to you by ProFunds Mortgages, fixed returns, real security. The Real Estate Center Canada, for all your buying, selling, and investing needs. Exteriors, providing you with full service exterior renovations. For over 10 years, Strong-Based Interlock and Landscaping has providing professional services to homeowners across the Greater Toronto Area. We are dedicated to ensuring your landscaping resembles the beauty you have envisioned. Our team guarantees competitive prices and the highest level of customer satisfaction through our integrity and commitment to quality landscaping services. For a free estimate on your next project, call us at 416-800-1585 or visit our website at sbinterlock.com. Whatever your interlocking and landscaping needs, you can count on Strong base. At Here to Clean, we understand that inviting someone into your home is a big deal. All of our cleaners are carefully vetted to ensure we send the right person to care for your home. We offer a variety of cleaning services to meet our various clients' needs, from small office and vacation rental cleaning, post-renovation and move-in cleaning. We will arrange a team of professionals with the right skill sets to tackle your toughest jobs and get them done right. Email, call, or text us to discuss your unique needs. Hey there, this is Anthony Maniacci. Here at Maniacci Sobel Altbaum, we're a law firm working for you in all facets of the law. My specialty is working in corporate commercial law and real estate, but we have lawyers that work in all other areas, including litigation and family. Our practice focuses on service with a personal touch, delivering in-depth legal advice and guidance to our clients, treating you as people, not as a number. You can reach us at maniacilaw.com. Hey, it's Jeff and Mark from Exteriors. Exteriors provides you with full-service exterior renovations, including roofing, siding, aluminum, and eaves troughs. We treat every renovation as if it were our own, guaranteeing impeccable craftsmanship. Exteriors Renovations. Contact us for a free quote. At High Peaks Custom Homes, we understand that your family is unique, and your home should be too. We are dedicated to understanding your vision and bringing it to life with great attention to detail and expert craftsmanship. Contact us at High Peaks Custom Homes to speak with our design team and start your new home. Canadian Real Estate Wealth, Canada's leading authority on residential real estate investment, can help you grow your portfolio, build equity, and find the perfect market for your next investment property. Available both online and in print, Canadian Real Estate Wealth is written by investors for investors. Each issue brings proven practical advice on all aspects of your investor's journey, property management, financing, alternative investing, and so much more. In 2018, when you think ROI, think CREW. Visit CanadianRealEstateMagazine.ca to subscribe today. The Real Estate Center is one of North America's leading real estate firms helping everyday people buy, sell, and invest in real estate. By leading with education, we make sure our clients have the know-how and confidence to make informed decisions, allowing them to reach their goals. Through our vast network of experienced advisors, the Real Estate Center is able to provide a full-service experience across the entire country. Whether you're looking for your first home, an income property, or commercial investment, we're here to help. Visit our website at therealestatecenter.com. Hey, it's Rav. Welcome back. We're talking about how to make money in the U.S. I'm here with my good friend, Anil Walia. Anil, thanks so much for being on the show. Thanks for calling me. How's, uh, how's everybody? How's the, the wife, the kids? Excellent. Excellent? Enjoying. Listen, I appreciate so much whenever you call me and you say, hey, Rav, let's go grab lunch. I learned so much from you um, because you have such a, a fantastic story. And it's not just real estate investing. I just think you're an incredibly wise person and I appreciate you being in my life and I want to bring you on the show again and again to share with the viewers that, uh, you know, it's not that difficult to get into the United States. It's not that difficult to invest, um, you know, there. 
you have almost 60 properties now, 59 properties yeah. in the U.S. Yes. You started uh, about five years ago. Yeah, in 2012. With, in 2012? Yeah. With $400,000. That's true. With $400,000, $400, you now have almost 60 properties, and the value of those 60 properties is what? Is around $12 million. $12 million. Yeah. $400,000, five years later, $12 million. And, you know, this is not luck. You spent a few years uh, studying the market. Uh, how many years, to be exact? Yeah, I, I did about three years of, uh, you know, due diligence. I so, went, 2008, went. 2009. Yeah. Take me there. So, in 2008, yeah. 2009, we know what happened to, uh, to Big Brother. Uh, what was your thinking? What did you do? How much money did you spend on yeah. that research? Yeah, yeah. Actually, I, I was I was an engineer and I was doing a, a day job, a nine to five job for three years. Okay. 2009, I got a layoff, and when I got a layoff, I was you know 54 years old, and I thought it's it's not wise to go back into the job market again. Okay. And I should you know uh, get self-employed and uh, look for some avenue on my own. Okay. And uh, when I interacted with various people, I realized there is a lot of equity, debt equity in my house. And I went to the bank and got a line of credit. But that time I well, was... Well, what do you mean by that? I mean, that's a, it's, a, it's a great point. I know what you mean. But for the viewers, when you say debt equity, what do you mean by that? Uh, the, the meaning is my house was free and clear. I repaid all the mortgages. And my house was worth around maybe 650 that time or 700 Okay. And uh, I So could, you had $700,000... Um, in your house? In, in my house, okay. which I was not utilizing. So I went to the bank. Bank told me that they can give me line of credit for $440,000. So I said, uh, okay, that's fine. They were giving me a 3%. But I was very scared to invest that because that was all hardened money. Yeah. And uh, I thought I should you know, do my due diligence before I uh, even touch this money. So I spent a lot of money on my... Uh, courses. I did a lot of, uh, took mentorship courses. I went to U.S. I went and visited seven, eight uh, cities. Seven or eight different cities? Different cities. Okay, you didn't walk there. I, you I flew, you had hotel I, expenses I, and so on and so forth. Yes. I stayed there for everywhere seven days okay. and I spent five days with different realtors seeing the market. The beauty was I realized in U.S. if there are 25 states, there, there are 25 different markets. Each state is different from the other state. And after, you know, doing uh, a lot of due diligence, I realized there are three trophy markets in U.S. Las Vegas, Orlando, and Phoenix. Las Vegas, Orlando, or Phoenix. And that Phoenix. was at that time? At that time. Okay. Because these are the markets which went up the most uh, during, you know, from 2005 to 2007. And after the meltdown, they are the ones which fell down the okay. most. So based on the, you know, my studies, uh, these were the markets which were to recover again. Another point which even uh, Peter Pelotis uh, mentioned that there are inherent restrictions in these cities. So the lands are not readily available because there is a restriction on the land. So these property values will come up again. Yeah. So these were the criteria which, uh, you know, made me select Orlando. So you, you chose Orlando? I chose Orlando finally. Okay. So these 59 properties are all in Orlando? They are in greater Orlando area. Okay. Yeah. Okay, great. And so... Um, you, and how much do you spend on this research? About you put four hundred thousand in the property, so I'm guessing you, you spent yeah, about, about forty thousand dollars. Yeah, 40, about forty thousand yeah, in the research. 50, yeah. But that's you know that's pretty courageous to take forty thousand dollars just for some you know education. Um, you are very young at heart, but you know you're, you're taking some of your savings and saying, hey, let me learn about this. What was the thinking? I mean, you you knew that eventually you're going to get into this, and yeah. so why not put the money as an investment? Yeah, you know, I always think education is power. You know, knowledge is power. Education yeah. is power. So unless or until I acquire the knowledge and I am, you know, fairly confident in my mind, I cannot invest my money. So it was for that reason I felt even, it's true that I felt even $40,000 was too less to get that kind of confidence level. So when I started investing, to tell you very frankly, I never felt uh, scared. It was, you know, with full confidence that yeah. I was thinking my money is secured. Yeah, that's great. So, so um, what are kind of average, what's your, your, your annualized return on investment? I mean, when, was, when did we buy the 59th property? When was that? Uh, it was 28th February this oh, year. Oh, okay. Yeah. So just a few months ago, you brought, yeah. so you're continuing to buy. Yeah. That's the plan. Um, and so what's our typical, you know, average ROI for these? 
Uh, the average ROI is, uh, you know, from 20 to 50%. From 20% to 50%, to 50%, that's what you're making. Yeah. And you borrowed the 400,000 originally and you're paying 3%. Absolutely. So that's a healthy margin. Uh, yeah. So you're, you're paying three out and you're making 20 to 50% 20 on, to 50%. on your money. Yeah. And um, a, a large component, if we just look at cash flow, what's the cash flow? What would be the cash flow in terms of, um, you know, uh, percentage wise? You see, cash flow is generally we target properties uh, with 1% uh, cash flow every month. 1% of the purchase price. Of oh, the purchase price. That means if the property is costing $100,000, yeah. I must get $1,000 in rent every month. Every month. Yeah. Okay, so if we buy a $200,000 property, your formula is that we need to have $2,000 $2, per month. Absolutely. Okay, and what is the average purchase price of these 59 properties? Uh, average purchase price when I bought, they were around 100 k about 100K? Yeah, 100K. But you're still buying now? I'm still buying and I'm, we, we are still able to find properties in that range, 100 to 120. Oh, really? We can yeah. still buy? We can still buy. And, and, these, and these are not just, uh, you know, um, bachelor suites. These are houses. These are houses. Detached. Three bedroom, two washroom, single family home. Three bedroom, two washroom, single family, and I can still buy them for about $100,000. Still there. buy them at that price and still get 1% rent, 0.9 to 1% rent. And what's the what's the amount needed, uh, Anil, when we do this? Um, we're going to take go to a break here in just a second. But, um, you know, I know in the States, and then correct me if I'm wrong, we're buying these cash. And then when we come back from the break, you'll talk about, we then we pull the money out. So if it costs $100,000, I put in the $100,000, but I can pull 70,000 out? Yeah. Is it about 70%? Yeah, yeah 70%. Uh, some banks even give 75, but 70% is safe. Okay. And you brought with, uh, um, you know, somebody that you're helping do this as well. You're helping uh, Paul do this. Yeah. We'll bring him on the show. Yep. We'll look at one of his properties. Anil, thanks so much for, uh, for being on the show. I appreciate it. Uh, we're talking to my good friend, Anil Walia. We're talking about how to make money investing in the U.S. We're going to get into the numbers when we get back. You don't want to go anywhere. Thanks for watching, everyone. The Everyday Investor has been brought to you by ProFunds Mortgages. Fixed returns, real security. The Real Estate Centre Canada. For all your buying, selling, and investing needs. Exteriors. Providing you with full-service exterior renovations. Canadian Real Estate Wealth, Canada's leading authority on residential real estate investment, can help you grow your portfolio, build equity, and find the perfect market for your next investment property. Available both online and in print. Canadian Real Estate Wealth is written by investors for investors. Each issue brings proven practical advice on all aspects of your investor's journey. Property management, financing, alternative investing, and so much more. In 2018, when you think ROI, think CREW. Visit CanadianRealEstateMagazine.ca to subscribe today. ProFunds Mortgages and its affiliate Valor Capital offers expert service and funding solutions for builders and developers, offering first and second mortgages with a combination of institutional and private lending. ProFunds Mortgages and Valor Capital offer a full-service construction and development package with in-house engineers, developers, builders, planners, and the best of financial analysts. With the many years of experience and credibility, ProFunds and Valor would love to be your added value financial partner. Visit us at profunds.ca. Hey, it's Jeff and Mark from Exteriors. Exteriors provides you with full-service exterior renovations, including roofing, siding, aluminum, and eaves troughs. We treat every renovation as if it were our own, guaranteeing impeccable craftsmanship. Exteriors Renovations. Contact us for a free quote. At High Peaks Custom Homes, we understand that your family is unique, and your home should be too. We are dedicated to understanding your vision and bringing it to life with great attention to detail and expert craftsmanship. Contact us at High Peaks Custom Homes to speak with our design team and start your new home. For over 10 years, Strong Base Interlock and Landscaping has providing professional services to homeowners across the Greater Toronto Area. We are dedicated to ensuring your landscaping resembles the beauty you have envisioned. Our team guarantees competitive prices and the highest level of customer satisfaction through our integrity and commitment to quality landscaping services. For a free estimate on your next project, call us at 416-800-1585 or visit our website at sbinterlock.com. Whatever your interlocking and landscaping needs, you can count on Strong base like people businesses have their journey their path sometimes straight but more often evolving growing and adapting and like people businesses needs change creating the need for knowledge in areas like accounting consulting and tax areas critical to your continued growth and success all part of the journey and all part of what we do together with you 
so that when your business has arrived, it's ready to keep going. MNP, wherever business takes you. Hey, it's Vitaly, Rav's door and window guy. Here are four quick tips when choosing doors and windows for your home. One, get two to three estimates from a reputable vendor. Two, choose the right manufacturer. Three, make sure you have a warranty. And four, get professional installation. To book a free estimate, contact us at torontodoorsandwindows.ca. Hey, it's Rob. Welcome back to The Everyday Investor. We're talking to my good friend, Neil Walia. Uh, we're talking about how to make money investing in the U.S. He's brought his friend Paul here, who's done exactly the same thing that he's been doing. Uh, Neil has uh, 59 properties in the Orlando area. Uh, you know, I'm stumbling a little bit, Neil, because I can't believe you've done that in a short five years. You started with $400,000. You've now bought um, 59 and you continue to buy. And now we have our good friend Paul here that uh, you've helped to uh, mentor in this exact same scenario. Paul, let me uh, thank you for coming on the show, Paul. Thanks for having me. First Rob. of all, thank you. Um, tell me how you um, uh, met uh, Anil and what's the relationship here. And uh, this is your first property? This uh, is in my the first States? property in the United um, States. Um, and many more to come, I guess. We're trying. Yes. Yeah. So tell me about this relationship. Well, this relationship actually, on a previous uh, episode, I saw you guys, both you and uh, uh, Anil on The Everyday Investor, and I said, I think this is a great idea. And I thought that I would ring him up. Yeah. And uh, it took me a little bit of uh, courage to do so because there's a little bit of uh, trepidation when you're investing in the United States in an entity that you don't really know about. Yeah. And I called him up and he's been mentoring me for about uh, four months now. We started in January. And uh, you know, teaching me how to crunch numbers, how to do uh, a CMA and how to make uh, an appropriate investment. Yeah. And uh, we were able to purchase something on April 4th. And a CMA is simply? A comparative melody. Um, uh, Market, market analysis, market something analysis. you mean by CMA. Yeah, yeah. So, so you're looking at different uh, properties and comparing and so on and so forth. And uh, it's true. I mean, uh, Neil's not a one-time guest. When somebody is continuing to invest in the same niche, I definitely have to bring him back uh, over and over again. But that's mm -hmm. cool that you saw him uh, through the show. So uh, Neil is uh, buying properties, um, his 59th one, looking for the 60th, and buying properties from around the hundred to $120,000 uh, range. So, Paul, let's take a look at and break down your your property, what is the sure. ROI? What's the return on investment on this property? Um, you just bought it, so the year is not out, but we have experience. Um, and so history says, what would be in the next you know, uh, 12 months? What is the return on your investment? We're looking at uh, 44%. 44% is Correct. the return on your investment. Okay, so help me get there. So what was the purchase price on this property? Purchase price was 115,000 US. So $115,000 US is, is what the property, is what you purchased it for. And then um, what were your uh, closing? I'm mean, assuming you have some closing costs yeah, in there? About uh, 3300 3360 was the exact closing costs on it. 3360 mm -hmm. okay. And then? And then um, what happened was when you get the uh, down payment is uh, 31000 So once you pay the 115000 you go to the bank and you, as was said earlier, you uh, look for the 70%. So I'm out uh, thirty-one thousand. Uh, the bank would give me seventy percent of the of the one fifteen. Yes, because in the in the U.S. we have to put down hundred percent of the purchase price. Correct. So you put down one hundred and fifteen thousand dollars. Correct. Plus three four thousand uh, dollars to close. Mm -hmm. yeah. Once you did that, and then was there any renovations involved in this, or no. was a what we call a turnkey property? No, it was a turnkey was, property. It was a turnkey property, um, and so that's not. Like you, you do some renovations, or you bought this undervalued. Yeah, this this particular property we bought undervalued you because bought. because whenever we buy in cash, yeah, and we do quick uh, quick closing, yeah. we can you know get some discounts. That's very smart. So, in so this we're paying case, in cash. We're yeah. going to close quick. Yeah. So now we can buy just under market value. Absolutely. In this case, we bought this property for one one five. Yeah. Whereas the appraised value came to one twenty. Okay, so this so, property is worth about five thousand dollars more. We build that in as well. Absolutely. So you bought this property. You put out one hundred fifteen thousand dollars. Correct. You have your closing costs about three four thousand right. dollars. You, um, it's turnkey. So now you put a tenant in it. Correct. So what is our rent right now from that tenant? The rent's eleven hundred dollars a month. Eleven hundred dollars. Right. Uh, okay, so it's a hundred fifteen thousand dollars purchase price, and we're getting eleven hundred. So yeah, it's the same, close to the one percent formula that we're using that Neil we talked about earlier. And you got the tenant in seven days time. In one week, you got that. One tenant. week. Yeah. Okay, so now it's tenanted. Now we go to the bank, 
a U.S. bank that you have a relationship with or a Canadian bank? No, we have with the U.S. banks. So we have a relationship there, and they're going to give us 70% back. Absolutely, 70% at about 4.75% interest rate. Okay, so that leaves us with when you did that, that leaves you, that's why you said 31,000. Right. Yeah. So 115, take away 70%. You're in this deal for 31,000 plus the uh, uh, just over $3,000 of closing costs. Correct. Yeah. So the total amount invested is, what's that, 34360 Correct. Yeah. Okay, so how we're going to make money and figure out our ROI is we figure out, um, you know, the different ways we're making money, and we divide that by the investment amount. In this case, it's the 34000 and change. You divide that, and that's how you got the 44% percent percent. annualized. Right. So let's look at that. How do we make money on this property? Let's look at the uh, cash flow. The cash flow is uh, 5364 Cash flow five annually. Okay, and and uh, that's after all expenses. After all expenses, this is what's paid. left. Okay, right. so five thousand dollars. So about you know four hundred and change Correct. per month that you're making, and then we're paying down our mortgage um, on this property. Mm -hmm. And so what's the pay that, down? That goes down to uh, one thousand two hundred and ninety six annually. Annually, so just over a hundred dollars a month is going. Uh, uh, back into our uh, pocket under the mattress. Mm -hmm. And then naturally, I know you're very conservative, um, I'm guessing 3%? 3%. So this, naturally yeah. this property is um, increasing 3% on the uh, 115 or the 120? On 120. On 120, on 120 because that's what the appraised yep. value is. Yep. So on the 120, 3% of that is $3,600. Um, and then because we bought a little bit of a discount, we're adding um, that as well. Yeah, $5,000. $5,000, okay? So when I take these four numbers, I add them up, what do I have? We, we get a ROI of 44.4%. 44%, okay, so yeah. when we add these four numbers up, we divide it by what we're in, in for, the 34,360, that spits us out 44.4%. Correct. That's not bad. Not bad. Yes. And, and next year, if we don't, uh, there's no forced appreciation, it'll be 29.8%, ongoing. Ongoing, so we're making about 30% oh, ongoing. Yeah because of natural appreciation, conservatively, yeah. debt reduction, and cash flow. Cash flow. Correct. Because we're still only in for what we're in for. Mm -hmm. 34,000. And where did you get the initial 150 to do this, Paul? I uh, took equity out of my house. So you refinanced as well. Right. And so you took a 100 and change yeah. um, at what rate? Interest uh, rate? 3%. 3%. Yeah. So 3%, but we're making 44%, and then every years to come, around the 30%. 30%. Account. Fantastic. So when you learn this, and people, this is your first investment property? This is my first investment property in the United States. But you live, oh, so you have other investment properties here? I do. And um, um, are you getting the same kind of uh, returns? Is it at such ease as, uh, as what we've introduced? Well, this is now? one thing that uh, Anil has introduced to me is that um, the cost is a lot less uh, investing in Orlando. Um, and I'm making just, amount, just the right amount of uh, cash flow monthly, yeah. even more than, uh, than my Canadian properties. And it was relatively easy doing it. Um, it's really a nice little. Uh, strategy for those everyday investors to go out and, and, and look at this uh, in Florida. It's it's really nice. And so, what's your plan? I mean, are we just going to have one mm -hmm. one there in in the states and continue, you know, around here, or you want to continue to buy more? I like I like the uh, market in the United States. Yeah. As 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 was mentioned, there's a lot of properties there. It's uh, double double the population. There's a lot. It's growing. Yeah. Um, strong job markets. Uh, universities all around and. Uh, People are coming into Florida. It's ranked uh, the number one rental market in the United States, Orlando and the GTA. And so that's what we're looking at. Yeah, and yeah. you've shared with me some of these principles. And what are two or three principles of why Orlando is a great place? You see, Orlando is uh, uh, because it's a sunshining state. Yeah. So a lot of uh, all the baby boomers, they want to shift into... Uh, it's a great the, point. The, a lot of us are wanting to move to Florida. A lot of us yes. wanted to move. Yeah. And you know, the, uh, the cost of living is very uh, less over there. It's as per the uh, affordability index, it is 90.90. 90. Uh, as as against uh, Los Angeles, it is 145. Okay. So it's 10 percent cheaper to stay in Orlando than rest of uh, U.S. Yeah. That's another reason. There is no state tax, income tax. Uh, so all these factors Make are great place to making great places to invest, and look, people are moving into this uh, this particular state. In Orlando specifically, uh, there is a lot of immigration inward as well as outward because of recent uh, uh, hurricane irma about 100000 people from puerto rico are entering florida from every where? year from puerto rico from puerto rico yeah. okay they are entering so the rental market has become very very hot and uh, in the the demand on the real estate is you know 
Speaking I of. mean, it's pretty hard, you know, Paul, with even the investments you have here, mm -hmm. it's pretty hard to follow the 1% formula. It's you know, here, right. here in the GTA. Right. I mean, to be able to buy, I mean, that would mean I'm buying a property here for $600,000 and I'm getting $6,000 a month rent. Absolutely. Um, we're not going to be able to do that. But if I buy a property for, you know, even $140,000, Depending on you know where in that area, yeah. I can get thirteen, fourteen hundred dollars. Yeah, absolutely, per month, per absolutely. Month. Um, you know, just before uh, you know when you first showed up, you told me now of the fifty nine properties, you're going to refinance how many? No, I'm uh, twenty three. Twenty three properties. You're yeah. going to refinance, yeah. and you will not be out of pocket. They will still run itself. But when we refinance this twenty three properties, that would be how much? Uh, no. Uh, so I'll I'll get a loan of about three point five million. Yeah. And uh, one point five is outstanding. So I'll be left with about two million cash. About two million cash. cash and so now you're into almost half of your portfolio. You're in for nothing. Nothing. Half and you, you have two million dollars in your pocket. In pocket. That's so not a, is, Paul, that's not a, he's a, not just a pretty face here. He's not just a pretty face. No, he's, he's a, very he's wise a smart person. guy. Uh, I know a little bit of why you're smart. I mean, you're Indian, no? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I always say that, uh, hey, um, uh, God only made a few perfect heads. The rest uh, he covered with hair. Yeah. So, uh, so there we go there. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, for, my, for my friends who have uh, a lot of hair on their head. But um, uh, no, this is, this is fantastic. What, and what are you doing? Are you going to continue to buy? Yeah, you Isn't see, 59 properties enough, Anil? Uh, no, you see, uh, like once you become an investor, you always feel upset if you have dead equity in the house. Yes. So if you have an equity, you have to take out and you know what are you put gonna it do to with use. It? What are you going to do with this? Put million? it to use. Of course. So so I'm going to reinvest in the because I find the uh, U.S. market is still very good. Yeah. With Trump coming, he's given a lot of tax breaks. Yeah. The tax breaks itself is going to add at least 0.2 in the GDP. Yeah. So it's actually what people are saying is he's supercharged the economy. The economy was running well. By giving tax breaks, it is supercharged. So yeah. the, uh, the U.S. economy is, going, uh, is doing well. Yeah. So it is wise to invest in, you know, in an in a economy, in a country, in a demographic which is you know, growing and which is sound. Yeah. So I'm looking for more single-family homes there or maybe multi-family homes or maybe commercial. Yeah. So and it's great. I mean, listen, Anil, you didn't get in this to, you know, coach or mentor, but people have been coming to you. And I know Paul's not the first. There's about, you know, uh, 10 plus people here that you've been helping. So I, I, I commend you for that. Thank you for being on the show. Time flies when we're having fun, Paul. Thank you and good luck with your continued investments. Thank you, Ralph. Uh, thank you for watching the show. Without you, we wouldn't have one. Uh, so grateful that you could do that. Uh, for more information, please go to theeverydayinvestor.info. Um, remember, when it comes to investing, you want to live simply, you want to give generously, you want to always invest. Uh, see you next week, same place, same time. Honey, I love you. I'll be home soon. Ciao, everyone.